<laughs> Look at that walleye. Mark Pro, this one goes out to you. We're gonna go get some breakfast. That's a pretty good sized fish. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have got a great video today for you. Uh, if you're tired of being dependent upon others, if you're sick of the high prices of utilities, you're definitely gonna wanna be able to uh, to watch this video. It's got a lot of useful information. If you haven't ever watched a channel before, I happen to be sometimes a vast wealth of knowledge. And one of the things I discovered in my research this week is, do you know the difference between the people of Zimbabwe and the people of Abu Dhabi? It's actually, they're pretty close to being the same type of people, but the people of Zimbabwe, they don't watch the Flintstones, but the Abu Dhabi do. So, all right, stick with us. I'll show you this video. Thanks to the folks over at EcoWorthy for providing us with uh, a great solar tracking system. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Come on, I'll show you what I got and then we'll get into the video. So if you remember uh, about two weeks ago, I went ahead and I put in a concrete base. I wanted to keep that base somewhat small um, because when I do decide to, um, or if I ever decide to move the cabin anywhere else, I want to be able to return this land to where it looks like it was, we were never here. Okay, when I set the base, it came with all the anchors and everything that you need to set in the in the concrete. I just brought my concrete hammer drill here, laid everything out, marked it with marker, and went ahead and uh, and uh, cored my holes, put the anchors in, and I set the base. And they do have north, west, south, and east marked on the pedestal here and that's so that um, you need to calibrate this thing so that when the sun comes up everything can be turned into the right direction by the computer so I keep looking over my shoulder we had an interesting experience this morning um, we were back here by this logging road well actually we were up on the porch of the cabin and right here on the logging road a wolf came down and uh, my wife says, what the heck? Somebody's walking their dog. And I got up and we both walked over to the edge of the cabin. And that wolf was really bold. <laughs> it came walking up and greeted us. And uh, it was a little bit of a uh, experience. Uh, I don't know what right words to use for it, but I'd rather not go through it again. Um, we've had this, that's the second time we've had wolves on the property that have been really bold and uh, they just don't give a crap that you're here. They have no respect for you. So you guys know I don't sugarcoat anything. Um, the instructions at best are comparable to Ikea instructions. Um, so if you ever bought anything from Ikea, you know what I mean. It's just pretty much pictures with um, the alphabet on it and that's it.
Okay, folks, for easy installation, they have a female on this actuator and a male end on that actuator so that you can't get them screwed up. And it's simple as just put the two together and then tighten the nut. And keep in mind it is plastic. You don't want to over tighten it. So this actuator is already in. And then we'll go ahead and we'll wire up this actuator which this is the male end going into the female and then again you just go ahead and tighten it hand tight now tighten it tighter isn't going to make any difference because there's an o-ring in here that's going to make your water seal so when you tighten both of these make sure that you just tighten them hand tight all right and then this is going to go to the battery and then this is your light sensor this is going to go ahead and make the unit go towards wherever the light is now this should always be put in the northeast corner of your solar panels and that will uh, track the sunlight i'm not going to hook this up right now uh, because i don't have my panels on but keep in mind when you do hook this up, hook it up to your unistrut that goes above my head here and then um, put it in the northeast corner. So wiring right now has been pretty simple. Um, yeah, let's see where we can go from here. All right, guys. So we have everything assembled and I went ahead and I hooked up my battery. And when I had this plate on and I hit the commands when I put it in manual, mode um the unit went to the east when i hit west and it went to the west when i hit east so i can't take credit for this um i was watching off grid with jay and jen and i gave jason a call and i remembered he had some issues with his as well and he taught me a little trick and i'm going to share that with you now so never mind the camera kind of uh, playing tricks here I'm gonna give you a close-up so it's not gonna look real professional but this actuator that controls the east and the west I followed it back to the control box here and I'm gonna show you a close-up of it all right so hopefully the camera focuses but right at the tip of my finger there is a black wire and a red wire those control the east and west and what I did is I switched those. So the red wire originally was on the bottom, the black wire was originally on the top. I just switched those two around. So I'm not sure why that would make a difference, but now all of a sudden, when I hit my controls to go east, the uh, panels start to uh, travel to the east, and when I hit the west, the panels travel to the west so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together and then I'll put the camera back a little bit further so that you can see how everything's controlled Let's go up to the brains of the outfit and I'll show you what we have controlling these panels. I wanted to show you basically how easy it is. There's um, a display down here that tells you what mode you're in. Um, it has the ability to track the sun by itself. Uh, if you want to, right now, this sensor right here is the sun tracking sensor and i ran out of the hardware to put this up on my panels it has to go up in the northeast corner of the panels and when you put this on there it will track wherever the sun is and it's a really cool feature that this has you don't have to do anything you just put it in the automatic mode and it'll go ahead and follow the sun as needed um i do have it temporarily hooked up with a 12 volt lithium ion battery that i have I will go ahead and eventually hook up into the solar that's in the bathhouse. 
uh, but for right now we are powering it off the battery so that I can show you what's going on. They do give you a wind speed sensor uh, that you can mount. I'll probably be mounting mine to the base of the panels. Right now I'm not too worried about it because my solar sits right behind my buildings. Uh, but if we get any real high gusts of wind coming through or whatever, this system will automatically flatten out the solar panels so that they're laying perfectly horizontal and then you have no wind resistance at all and it'll save on the life of the investment that you just made for your cabin so overall i gotta tell you i've been pretty darn impressed with um the system that eco worthy has and you know i made a few improvements to the wiring and everything's working great i'm just fortunate enough that I did my research, got a little help from some friends, and uh, basically I installed this today by myself, and it took about four hours, and probably the hardest thing to do was to actually mount the solar panels, uh, and the solar panels are separate. Those are mine. They did not come with this system, so yeah, I'm pretty, pretty stoked. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I appreciate it. Uh, if you guys let me know what you think in the comments and if you're interested in buying a um, solar tracking unit like this i am going to go ahead and leave a link in the video description and uh yeah i hope you're as happy as i am we'll catch you next time on carl's off the grid